Hi guys, Rafter here, back with another expedition video. This time, I will show you the fastest 7 win run that I've played in Legends of Root Terra. I drafted an Agro Spiders deck with Elise and Darius. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Enjoy! We just won our first expedition yesterday. Uh, let's try our, our second trial. See if we can get see if we can get seven wins again. So we have Quinn, Darius, and Gangplank here for our first champion picks. Overall, I think the Noxian might might pack is a bit stronger. Uh, but I think if we pick this, uh, we're gonna be leaning towards a very aggro centric deck. Maybe the Noxian might pack here is. Uh, a bit more safe just because we get a 2 drop uh, and a strong late game card or a finisher with Darius. This pack can be strong. I think the Arachnophilia pack with Elise has a very strong synergy with our deck right now. Um, we will swarm the board early with our Spiders and Elise and then we will finish him off with the Darius and we even got a Scuttle Geist. Um, the suit up and the Demacian Steel are also very strong with Sejuani and Garen. However, I think uh, the Elise has the best synergy with Darius right now. We will take the Arachnophilia pack here with Elise. Right now, I'm leaning more towards the Arachnophilia pack. Um, since this is a synergy pick, this will um, kind of dictate what we get in the next few picks. Um, overall, I think the Arachnoid Sentry and Glyphs Beyond is the best choice here. We're, in, we're going to go with an aggro Elise deck. We can take the Noxian Might pack here, uh, gives us very uh, aggressive 2 drops with Trifarian Hopeful and Legion Grenadier. We want to put as much pressure as early as we can. I think there's no question here, we take the Arachnophilia pack. Um, it's, a, it's a contest between the Noxian Might and the Arachnophilia pack. How Spider has very good synergy with Elise. Uh, Legion Grenadier is strong. Uh, Two drop, however, how spider in terms of synergy it's better than Legion Grenadier and Glimpse Beyond is better than Guile. So we will take the Arachnophilia pack here again. I think we will take the Scrap Heap pack here. Iron Ballista is an aggressive 3 drop and Noxian Guillotine is one of the best removals in the game. As I mentioned in my previous videos, Noxian Guillotine can be a 9 mana kill 3 minions if played correctly. Or even 12 mana killed 4 minions. So we will take the Scrap Heap pack here with Noxian Guillotine and Iron Ballista. Normally I would take the Arachnophilia pack here um, with Noxian Fervor, I think, but I think the Scrap Heap pack is too strong to pass on. We have Legion Rear Guard, a uh, very strong one, aggressive one drop, and we have Brothers Band, which grants uh, take note permanent. Grants permanent attack damage to your to two of your units. You can take the Reckless Trifarian and Culling Strike here. Culling Strike will allow us to get rid of annoying backline units. Reckless Trifarian is a very strong 3 drop. You can take the Legion Saboteur and Brothers Bond here again. Um, let's take Kato the Arm together with House Spider here. Uh, House Spider synergizes very well with Elise, and we really need some uh, uh, drops uh, from 4 mana onwards. We will take the Crowd Favorite together with the Hapless Aristocrat here. Let's take another House Spider here. Secure our early game, and it helps us make sure that Elise will level up. Right now we have a bunch of early game drops. I think uh, we should be looking forward to getting some spells and some late game units. I think the Arachnophilia pack with Decisive Maneuver and Pressure Pet is a bit better than the Noxian Might pack here, so we will take the Arachnophilia pack. I think the Neverglade Collector will be more useful this game, just because we have lots of units that we're gonna summon early. I prefer the Precious Pet over the Blade's Edge. 
We're up against a pure Elise deck. So he has two Elise right now. We can malig maligan away these two and hope that we get the Elise. We're still okay with this. And skip this block. Can summon our spider. Can summon the hapless aristocrat here. Can block like this. Then summon the house spider. You can summon the crowd favorite here. Turn 4. We attack with everything. We don't need to. Let's attack with these. We're okay. We're fine with this. Okay with that, I think. And summon Elise. This burst, right? So becomes three. And let's buff our own Elise. Let's do that. I don't think he has anything to stop my Elise from leveling up. Just end. Okay. Okay. He still dies, right? Oh, he lives. He lives. Okay. Down to two health, though. Okay, he doesn't have recall. We're safe. Nice. I think we will go get offered Elise, Darius, and Draven. <laughs> Elise, Darius, and Draven, I called it. I think Elise for sure. We have Garen. Again, we're up against Garen and Katarina. Oh. We have two units that can't block. Could be a problem. I have a glimpse beyond. Ooh, he doesn't have anything. Let's go all in. Yes, Cetria. Okay. He baited out that spell for... We're okay with this. And summon the Grenadier here. Stun him. See what he summons first. Let's summon the precious pet first. Let's use Blade's Edge on this one. <coughs> yeah. 
You can summon the Neverglade Collector next round. this oh it goes through why why did it go through i thought i was supposed to block that one come on our elise first wow can summon this one The Brothers Bond would be more useful than Blade's Edge. This is a Shadow Eyes with Demashan and DNZ, the DNZ cards. Maligan this these away. That's better. We have uh, not better, but it's okay. Someone Elise first. Oh. Okay. We're fine. Killed my first Elise. Got this Vanguard. Can summon the Trifarian here. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a tough game. House Spider. Summon the House Spider. Ideally, we kill two units with our brother's bond. Huh. We will kill that. Do this. It's a grizzled ranger, man. So anti aggro. Scato Jice. And summon Kato the arm here. Okay. Really good for us. It's really good for us, right? Can summon the grenadier first. Okay, that's really bad. Actually, can summon the scatterjays. This is a weird defense. He has something that inflicts one, one damage for her, or his stretch is gonna level up. Thresh is gonna level up soon. He has something that inflicts one da inflicts one damage. Summon a reckless Jafarian. Put on the pressure. Oh my. It's bad. Arcata the, Arcata the arm doesn't die. So we can still win. Let's summon the Aristocrat. Right. Still loses. We barely won, man. We 
barely won. Time for an aggro deck. Let's take the Arachnophilia back here. It's because of Elise and Brood, Brood Awakening. It's a strong fish finisher. Crowd favorite is a 4 drop, which we don't have a lot of those. We're up against Lee Sin. Lee Sin, Quinn, and Lux. We'll mulligan away everything except the hapless aristocrat. Oh. This is a good setup for an evolved leveled up Elise. Probably attack here. Can summon the spider here. Really? Summon the Elise. Scales of the dragon. Yep. That guy gets health. Really curious to say. See what you will do. Summon the hopeful. Really good for us. What to do? Let's summon this first. Five damage is a lot. Hope that doesn't bite us in the ass. What is this card? Okay, single combat. It's bad for us. Oh my. Wow. We kind of have no choice. Let's defend with some spiders. Fine, this is fine. Brood Awakening. Life of an aggro deck. Tato the arm. Summon the Darius. Okay. Just attack now. Twin Disciplines. I knew it, so... That this queen gets to live, our Darius levels up. We got Kato the arm next turn. We probably win this. GG. We can actually take the Iron Ballista here, I think. Kill us badly. Hmm. Take the Iron Ballista then. Tons of options right here. Summon the spider. We can summon the Elise. Or we can summon the Ballista. Keep the Elise for later. Yep, we can keep the Elise, Elise later. The Elise for now. Summon the Grenadier. But he doesn't know that our Elise will level up. So these guys can't defend anymore. Make 
true beauty is beneath the skin. I'm scared. I deal tons of damage. Summon the hopeful. Summon the spider. Okay. Rude Awakening Can only summon one creature now GG Nymphs Beyond for House Spider Let's take it we are at 5 wins right now, which is our goal. So we are cool. It's not uh, that good of a hand. Yeah. Not the ideal hand. Dude, misfortune will wreck me. Got their back. Not gonna get to let you get a free trade. What are you talking about? Hey. Okay. We are okay. They're not okay. That was bad. That was really, really bad. That was bad. I played that very poorly. We are fine. have a decisive maneuver to end the game. Ooh. Ooh. None of these can't defend. These guys are useless. Oh, doesn't die. That actually saves us. Hold on. Actually winning. Uh, that challenge saved him. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy moly. Well played. Well played! Frenzied Skitter is probably better than Brother Spawn. Uh, he probably is leaning more towards the the Mashion cards, nice. How come we never get turn one? How come? Really curious. What a tricky card. So this guy can't defend.
can defend against this one. Wow. Wow. The disrespect. Cutting strike. Level up. Stun whatever he summons. Yep, yep. We got this, we got this. We got this. Single combat can stop stop our Elise from leveling up. Takes everything. Boom. Our Elise levels up. GG! Iron Ballista for Frenzied Skitter. I think the Frenzied Skitter here. Let's keep take the crowd favorite. Take the arachnid horror. We skip this. Uh huh. Let's take the arachnid host. I think we are okay. We're okay. Up against a deep deck. Give me my spiders. Nice. Spiders have been given. Plus four. Just gonna go all in under aggression, man. have used it anyway so we're fine we have another Elise in hand gotcha you got me there fine Uh, do we go greedy? If we go greedy, of course we will. Have a chance to end the game here, why not? We just win. Yeah, we won. We won. Fastest seven wins of my life. Fastest seven wins of my life. Holy crap, man. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my uploads. Thanks! Bye-bye!